This simply should not happen in our community. That's why I stand here today in full support of this legislation we're signing, championed by Councilwoman Leanna Cumber and Councilman Tommy Hazuri, and the, all the co-sponsors that are here with us today. This bill will help curb these crimes in our community by requiring work identification cards for all performers in the adult entertainment establishments and by raising the minimum age of performers from 18 to 21. It will also give survivors of these crimes a larger voice and a bigger role in how Jacksonville addresses these crimes in the future through the creation of the Sex Trafficking Survivors Leadership Council. This bill not only does it do everything that the mayor mentioned, but it also holds the managers and the owners of the clubs accountable for what's going on in their clubs. And this is really important because if we are really going to curb sex trafficking and commercial sex in our county, we really need to focus on the demand. And so this bill is one step in a long process that I will be working with my colleagues and with the providers in the mayor's office, JSO, DHS, and FBI, and really looking at what other ways we can tackle the demand side. The fire department, I want to thank them, the sheriff's office, to thank them for installing these signs in these strip clubs and now in transportation and hotels was the last bill we passed last year. And uh, this kind of reinforces this bill, what we're doing at the hotels and the restaurants. It's our mission, quite frankly, is zero tolerance for human trafficking in Jacksonville.